Alright, yeah, and welcome back to some more RimWorld Alpha 17. So, what are we going to do today? Well, we did say that we wanted to finish off this wall here, and I kind of am looking at this situation right now, and it seems like we've got not enough power. Um, so maybe we want to upgrade our power. Speaking of power, I can see why we've run out of power, because we're not actually using it. So, let's finish off this power line, shall we? Jesus Christ, guys. Now we've doubled our power um, input. Hopefully that covers everything. Even if it doesn't, I suppose we could go with a fuel generator. It's going to cost us 100 steel, which we don't currently have. Uh, but we've got 876 wood. And so we might as well. Uh, somebody does need to mine, though. Let's have a look who could mine for us. Uh, Veronica, zero on mining. So it's between Tony and Phoebe, because mining actually matters in terms of skill now, uh, based on what you get out of it. So, you are the best, Tony. Yeah, sure, you can be our, uh, our miner. Ugh, I'll just touch my arm then. Ugh. Like a random moth or a spider just flew on my arm. I'm sat in the dark right now, so that would explain a lot. Ugh. Nah, I don't mind insects, it's just. Just randomly get slapped in the arm by one. Gets a little bit awkward. Alright, Veronica, I feel like you should not be doing research right now. I feel like construction's a little bit more important. Just because we've clearly got enough right here for you to do and what are you researching electric smelting yeah not important we need to get the real stuff done which is security in this particular case need to make sure that we're safe so sorting that out big priority also in construction sandstone plant pots as well to make everybody's room just that little bit nicer apparently Phoebe is in a foul mood because we did set a restriction for uh, social drugs and you should only be doing it if your mood is below 35 or if your joy is below 10. And it seems like none of those things are actually true. Alright. That gives me concerns about the uh, setup that we've got. I do have a little bit of tattered apparel for Veronica. What's tattered? Your shirt. Okay. We don't have a good tailor, though, do we? We've got a six. Hmm. But in order to do tailoring, we have to take her off con uh, crafting, which not an option for us, because we do need sandstone. We are officially out, apparently. So she should be going and grabbing loads of sandstone blocks for that. And now she's doing research again. Is there seriously nothing you can do? I don't really want to put a zero on mining, or on growing, or on crafting. Yeah. So, I guess it is literally all you can do. I suppose I could set you for mining. It's, it's a horrible idea as far as I'm concerned, but I just don't want you researching right now. It seems like that's a bad idea. Because we do have a raid coming soon and it's not going to be a nice one. So I need to be able to be set up. We need the steel for the turrets. We need a wall so that we don't get attacked from a direction that we don't agree with. There's so much for us to worry about. So you are hauling, what, 29? Alright, so you did get a reasonable amount of steel from that. Fair enough. We do need the extra power as well if we are going to start running... Ooh, hello. Um, start running turrets round the clock. We can, of course, use switches, um, which will turn off all of our turrets from time to time, but as it stands, not really something we can do. Right, I'm just going to temporarily, temporarily I'm going to just put our turrets on this corner, I think. This seems like the most likely area for anything to attack us from. The attackers from the south were in a bit of trouble, but we've got 
cover pointing in that direction. It's very unlikely. Most of the map is on this side, so these three turrets should see a lot of action. And we'll run a power line up there as well. We need plenty of steel though, so getting these guys all on that job seems like the best thing to do. Don't mind that as well, please. Okay, as far as components are concerned, we've got 40 of them, so we're fine. There is some ship chunks hanging around, right? Uh, we should also be checking out our uh, traders. Our best warden, that would be Veronica. Veronica, go trade. Can't talk properly because of poor health. Ooh. Well, hang on a second. Stab scar, bad back, and cut scar. Huh. Those are permanent effects. So apparently Veronica is actually, despite being a point higher than our other warden, not a better warden. Unless, of course, Phoebe has also got health issues, but I don't think she does. Nope. She does not. Okay. What do we want to do here? Uh, we could buy some clothing. Don't really want to do that. Could buy some beds, some furniture, yet again. Don't really want to do that. We could sell them a fair bit of wood and buy some steel. I like the idea of that. Because um, we do have too much of it and we're kind of in the jungle. So maybe minus 500 there. Get 356 worth of steel. Or that much. That'll be fine as well. Sell you... 20 of our herbal medicine and sell you our leathers monkey hides, cobra skins we don't need leathers right now so other than cloth we could we probably want to trim down a little bit of that cloth as well I don't want that stacking up too high so minus 253 just keep 100 around uh, berries We've got 991 veg and 42 meats. Um, we're, I think we're waiting on another harvest, so I don't really want to give you any of that. I'll give you the berries, though. Just 13. It's a weird stack to have. So we'll do that. That seems like a decent trade. And now we've got plenty of steel, so we can do our turrets and hopefully... We'll have that up and running, ready for the next raid, whenever that ends up being the case. And none of this that we've bought is actually going to degrade, so nobody has to go and grab it anytime soon. There is a nice chinchilla corpse there we can take from the cobra that murdered it. And butcher it up for food. We've got an eclipse. Alright. All of our solar panels are going to do nothing. Traders leaving. Goodbye, traders. I'm so glad that they've disappeared that soon. I do really wish there was a dismiss, dismiss traders button. Alas, there is not. I'm sure there's a mod for it, though. But this ain't no modded run. There we go. That's one turret up. I think I'm going to actually go power, power, conduit. Go like that and then stick a switch there. All of the rats in the local area are going mental. Okay, everybody meet up. Here they come. And an alpaca as well while we're at it. That's one down. That's two down. Here comes another. Let's just select Veronica because Veronica is going to be the one that stops them from running in and nibbling on our legs. Set it for two speed. Still a fair few. We just got the alpaca now. 
Alpaca's coming from the top half, so we'll go down this way. Make sure the turret can uh, fire on it a fair bit. There we go. I think we're safe. Time will tell. Uh, let's see. All of the rats. Oh, I don't want that. And our alpaca friend as well. So Tony got bitten, I think, once. Yeah, just a little bite. You can heal that up. That's that's a herbal medicine kind of heal, is that? So get on that. Yeah, we're setting up a switch and a power conduit so we can connect to this line here. Turn the switch off and then we're not actually using power on any of our turrets at any time. It's just a way to save power. I'm sure we probably can run these turrets um, in this kind of setup, but I don't want to, and I don't need to, so I'm not gonna. Alright, plenty of rat meat and rat furs though, or rat leathers. That's pretty good. Tony's fully healed, there you go. And that is why we did not give you proper medicine, because you don't need it. There we go. Set you back again. But plenty of meat to butcher off. I suppose rats don't actually give that much, but... We've got an item stash opportunity. Uh, just clothing by the looks of it. There's an armoured vest, which is quite nice. Power armour helmet of good quality as well. Let's find out where it is. I don't know if we're going to go to it, because we don't really have the manpower. A lot of the time, these item stashes... Yeah, are a fair distance away, but they're also defended pretty badly. This is a turret threat. Turret threats, if you take out the batteries, then they lose power most of the time. So there are good ways to approach it in a way that you don't lose you guys. But we've got four people. We don't really want to send everyone, because if we get raided while we're gone, because I'm pretty sure that probably still happens, then they'll just burn down our entire base and we've got nothing to come back to. Let me just... Um... No, we don't want to do that. We'll reconnect. Damn it! Reconnect. Reconnect. Apparently you refuse to connect here. So I'll put you there instead. No? You, you don't want to do that, Veronica? There you go. You'll do it. And let's just check you're connected to the right spot. Then we can turn that off. And we're no longer using our turrets. Let me just look at our... Yeah, look how fast it's going down. And it's no longer moving once we turn these switches off. That being said, of course, our wind turbines aren't running right now, so... That is why they're going down so fast, but this will happen from time to time, and there's no way I can stop that, so let's just consider ourselves not able to use that amount of power. Right, while we have the power, though, let's get a light in here. Uh, let's put it... doesn't particularly matter, I suppose, but it matters to me, goddammit. Let's put it there. Everybody's got a room, uh, light in their room. This one's going to be temporarily a stockpile, but eventually it's going to change to something else. We seem to not have any sandstone anymore. There's nobody doing any sandstone. Crafting. Oh, because we've set Tony to mine. That would make sense. We don't need that mining job de being done anymore, so... Once Tony's done crafting all of the smoke leaf joints that we've got, then she should go off and start making a sandstone block so we can finish off this wall and then we'll be in a good spot. But having turrets is really nice for future uh, future raids. We can readjust these to whichever point we want. Uh, if they come from the south, then we can just move them around this area. North will shift it slightly and then we'll take cover here while our turrets will fire from here. And... Same for any other direction, really. We've got it covered. 
There we go. Tony is working away. Our current stop pal zone's got plenty of spots in it, so there's no need to clear anything out just yet. Seems to be going well. Hmm. I keep forgetting to uh, rename everybody as well. Um, so, the beginning of the next episode, I'm actually going to rename these guys. Uh, it's going to be anybody on the Patreon list, unless one of you guys in the comment section pipes up before I make the new video. And then I'll name it for you guys. I know one of you already wants to be named after one of these, so... Yeah, these are going to go to the Patrons, um, unless anybody has some names for me. So let me know in the comment section below if you want to get involved in that kind of thing. Right, that's that wall done. Let's start working on... Probably this wall here. Actually, you know what? This this wall here. Because our defences are likely going to be here. We don't really need defences on the back just yet. Because nobody's really going to come down this way. For the most part. Same could be said for this bottom bit as well, I suppose. But it just makes sure that they funnel it in just either side. And this one's a quick... Um, Take out a bandit area and they'll give us a thrombo horn. You can bugger off with that crappy deal. Yeah, it's just kind of funneling in a really backward, uh, backwards way. But there you go. Right, let's uh, plan out our little kill box thing. It's not actually going to be a kill box because I don't want to make a kill box. Um, <laughs> so I want something like several doors here just to make sure that we've got some security to stop them from getting inside. And then I want to surround this box with defenses. So it's going to be like wall, wall, sandbag, wall, wall, sandbag, wall, wall, sandbag, wall, wall. And then round this way, sandbag, wall, wall. That kind of thing. Uh, we want to go two more. Boop, boop, and boop, boop. That's going to kind of be our defensive situation. We'll defend this area. We'll have turrets surrounding it. Uh, have I gone one too far? I think I have. Yes, I have. Fix that right now. And we'll defend this area. We've got plenty of directions we can shoot from. Our enemies have still got a chance um, since we uh, won't be taking out any of this area, but maybe we'll chop down the wood on the outer area so they've got no cover. That kind of thing. And they actually have to run through the marsh in some cases as well, which is going to slow them down pretty badly. Which buys us plenty of time. So yeah, that's going to kind of be our setup. It's just avoiding the usual exploitative measures of killing the AI, really. And as I've probably said in the past, we'll probably go back to a normal killbox strategy, but I want to play around with a suboptimal, more fun, strategic um, style of play this run. It's probably going to mean the run doesn't go on for very long. I'm not going to lie, but still. There's plenty of time in my life to play plenty of more runs, so it shouldn't matter too much. Okay, so Veronica is digging at the steel. We are going to need a fair bit of steel in order to make the sandbags and also move this stuff. We'll probably set up some deadfall traps like in and around the area as well. Uh, that's going to be kind of fun, just scattering them randomly in the, uh, the fields. It's going to make it an interesting little run. And then we'll probably need more turrets in the future as well as power lines leading to them. So, something to consider. I expect these are probably going to be auto doors as well, just to be really quick in and out. That would be nice. 
about halfway done with the southern wall. That's pretty good to see. We've got 22 sandstone left, so Tony should be continuing to uh, work on that. And indeed, she is. Um, maybe I'll set a stockpile, actually, right here. And I'll clear it. Critically important, it takes chunks. And in this case, granite and sandstone. And since this is going to be our defensive point initially, I'm going to actually ask them to haul all of this stuff here because it's what Tony needs. And it's going to be efficient if she's uh, just going here instead of all the way across the map just to get one block. So that works for me. We do need to set somebody to do the hauling for that though. Uh, in order for that to get done, but it looks like Phoebe might actually do it at this rate, which is pretty good. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave the episode off here. If you do want to name any of the characters before the next video, then be sure to let me know in the comments section below. Otherwise, I will leave it up to the patrons. If you are a patron as well uh, and you want to name one of the characters a specific name, let me know down below and let me, um, you'll let me know if you are actually a patron. Give me some proof. Uh, message me on Patreon, that kind of thing. Anyway, guys, it's been a pleasure. If you've enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon. Oh, my God. That's two rhinos. Okay. I uh, will take these on before we end because it's, uh, it's probably going to be easy enough. All right, let's go. Go, go, go. Veronica. Flick the switch. Thank you. Right. And then get drafted again. So, let's, um, it doesn't really matter where we put our guys, just as long as they're not firing at each other. So, let's just get a firing line going. Bring Veronica out slightly. So she can melee if it's relevant. Though I don't think merely attacking a rhino is a smart plan if I've ever known rhinos to be peaceful animals. Which they are not. There we go, that's one down. Where are you going? I should draw him up. He's actually cutting the uh, blocking line of sight with our guys in one of our turrets. Smart rhino, but dead rhino. There we go. Alright guys, that's going to do it. Like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon right next to the subscription button. And that'll give you notifications when I release new videos. I do hope you've enjoyed. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.